the bitches ain't around Who the fuck gon' be around? Me What's up, y'all? It's your girl self made and he's back with another video. I know it's been such a long time since I posted, but here I am. And um, this video is going to be about um, how to get into Military Sealift Command, aka MSC. The reason for me making this video is because I don't have so many people, you know, say, yo, how I get on with MSC? Like, what do I got to do? Can you tell me your stuff? Send me the info, yo, yo, yo. So, it's like a lot of people be asking me the same questions. So, I felt like, why not combine all the information to one video? And then, y'all can just watch and hopefully get what y'all need. You know what I'm saying? So, first things first. Um, You want to go to militarycfcommand.com and start the process by filling out your profile. Okay. And while in the process of filling out your profile on the website, you're gonna you're gonna um start or work on getting three things. And those three things are number one is your TWIC card, transportation work identification card, and that's gonna cost you $125. Um then the second thing you're gonna need is your passport. Your passport is gonna cost you $130 application fee and then also a $35 processing fee, okay? And then your MMC, which is your Merchant Marine Credential, that's gonna cost you $140. Now, getting all these things is also, is, is gonna cost you some money, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, I feel like life is about investing in yourself. You know, if you want better for yourself, you gotta invest in yourself, you feel what I'm saying? So. Like it is what it is, and I promise you, you're gonna get that money back. You will get that money back like this, <laughs> like so. Don't even worry about it. You know what I'm saying. So once you get all three of those things, and then you're gonna put all that information into your profile, and then your profile is gonna be at 100%. Okay, but before we even talk about that, let's talk about where to get those three things. So your Twit card, you wanna either go on the TSA website or search out twit card in your area and it'll direct you to where to get your twit card from or whatever um but that's why i went i went on the tsa website and then i just went from there they have up there how to book appointments um if they accept walk-ins whatever whatever so excuse me so you can just go that route just go on the tsa website and type in twit and boom there you go and also for everything you know, for the Twig, the Passport, and the MMC, I'm going to leave all the links down below, so don't worry, you know what I'm saying? Um, I'm going to make sure I put them down below, and if I don't, you guys definitely let me know in the comments that I didn't, and I'll definitely get get them to you as soon as possible. Um, so, your Passport, your Passport, you're going to get that from uh, your local post office, you know, so you can just walk in and say, hey, I'm here to... Um, obtain a passport, you know, um, could you guys point me in the right direction? They'll probably give you an application to fill out, and then they're going to take you in the back, snap your picture, and all this good stuff, and, and then you just pay for it, and then you wait for it in the mail. And then your MMC, your MMC, you can either look up a, a maritime office near you, or you can go to the United States uh, Coast Guard website, and on there, they will have different questions such as how to attain MMC. And then it'll pull up um, a PDF file of directions of how to get your MMC. The paperwork you need to fill out, what you need to attach with it, where do you send it, and all of that. You know? But I didn't do that. I didn't go that route. I went to, um, I went to Mid-Atlantic Maritime Academy. Uh, school located in Norfolk. It's off of Robin Hood Road. So if you're from Virginia, you know what I'm saying? Y'all can just go there and let them know you're there to uh, get your MMC and they'll help you, you know, submit your paperwork. Now, one thing I do want to mention about that, they're going to tell you, hey, take this class so you can get your SCCW and all this and that. And if you get this, um, companies are more 
likely to pick you up and this, that. Don't listen to that. Well, only if you're going for MSC. If you're going for MSC, they're going to put you through school and through training and all the training that you need for free. So don't pay that money to get that because you don't need it. And if you do pay the money and you still go through M MSC, MSC is not going to honor it. They're still going to make you go through your, your training process. And you're going to have two sets of certificates, you know what I'm saying, versus just one for free. So you don't want to, like, waste your money on that. So don't even just be like, yeah, okay, 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 you know, let them talk and, you know, fill out your paperwork, get your MSC and get up out of there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, take what you need and go. <laughs> take what you need and go. Okay. Um, so once you get all of three of those things, your TWIC card, your passport, and your MMC, then you're going to finish your profile on militarycleafcommand.com that you had started before everything. You're going to finish that, and it's going to, at the top, it should say um, it's 100%. Your profile is at 100%. Once your profile is at 100%, then that's when you can start to apply for entry level. Now, if you previously went to school, maybe for engineering or communications or um, logistics, anything every time or anything like that, make sure you put that on there and any credentials that you have, you know, put that on there and search other jobs that they're also hiring for, such as um, maybe, let's say, radio electronics technicians, um, uh, engineers, third engineers, jun junior engineers, unlicensed engineers, you know, so you can also apply for those as well, too, if you have previous experience or, you know, schooling in those areas. You don't have to apply for just entry level. So if you have the credentials, put them up there, let them know, shoot your shot, you never know. You know, and even if you do need a license for it, it says it, still apply, you never know, because MSC is hiring bad for every department. So, you know, try your hand. You you never know. You know what I'm saying? Um also uh once you while you're completing your profile too, do not I repeat, do not do not lie on that zone. Don't lie about nothing. If you got fired from a job, let them know you got fired, let them know why and this and that and the third because they're going to find out when it comes to getting your security clearance because this is a government job and you will need a security clearance they're going to find out you know what i'm saying and when they find out and they figure out you lie that can hinder you from getting hired and then you just wasted all that money for nothing you know what i'm saying so if they ask you something don't lie second smoke weed Live it alone, man. Like, <laughs> live it alone. Like, honestly, and it's coming from me. Just live it alone for a little while, you know? And, and so you can get your stuff together, you know what I'm saying? Because they do random drug tests out here, you know? They they do it for the hiring process, the pre-employment process, and also once you get on the boat, they're going to randomly test you. I've been tested, and this is my first, uh, it's my first tour, my first ship, so I've been tested. I can't speak for anybody else, but I'm just saying what I know, you know, so if you're smoking, just try your best to cut that out, man, and just get down to the grind, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes, you know, we got to make sacrifices to get to that next level in life, you feel what I'm saying? So it is what it is, and you just, you're not going to let nothing like that holds you back from you moving to the next level you feel what i'm saying like i'm gonna do that it's not even worth it you feel what i'm saying so yeah and then um once you apply for entry level you just wait it's a waiting game from there you know you just wait for um msc to send you um to send you an email letting you know that your application been selected and They'll let you know they'll be in contact with you within two to three weeks, and you just wait on the phone call, and then they'll sign you up for NEO. And that's it. So that wraps up this video, you know, about how.
how to get into MSC. Um, I hope I answered all the questions that you guys have. Um, if not, you know, you definitely can leave some questions down in the comments and I'll definitely get back to you guys within a reasonable manner. Um, I'm definitely gonna uh, be on the lookout for another video. I'm gonna let you know, you know, what it's like um, to go to NEO, which is New Employment Orientation, and what to expect for that, how to pack, and all that good stuff. So, you know, I'll be giving y'all more information, most definitely. Um, but yeah, that's it. Appreciate y'all for tuning in. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And y'all already know what it is. It's self-made and I'm out. Oh, when the money ain't around and the bitches ain't around, who the fuck gonna be around?